Haru Alman here once again. I just wanted to kind of give you some heads up on some things that's kind of been dear to my heart anyway. But we've been miseducated. The education system here, as we see it, has been miseducating us through uh, K through college level when you look at it. Because it's funny how everything is separated too as well. For me, my makeup of, you know, as an adolescence or elementary schools or whatever the case may be, believe it or not, I was resource, you know, a resource student, you know, or special education as they call them. You know, but one thing they failed to really realize what kind of skills I really did have. That's why I excelled in sports, you know. So this is kind of a more dear to the heart miseducation in general, what they're literally doing to the people, to the masses, right across the board. And it's pretty sad when in the 50s when you had the availability when America was way up there as far as every, every subject matter, they was on the top, you know, the first five or the first 10 level, first 10 of education levels. Now today is way as is, is has declined. They ain't even on the top 10 no more. That's pretty sickening. But then it's a funny thing how none of us really are in the books anymore. You know, the percentage of reading has went down enormously. I know in uh, the magazine reading, what, 40% now? I think it's up to 40% now, you know, re readership. You know, so it's a lot of different things that's going, even books. I mean, when you're looking at what kind of books are being read, yeah, you might be in some novels, you might be in some other things, but the literally where they're killing us, they're killing us on the education fars. They have available libraries. You know, that's a beautiful thing. Thanks to Andrew Carnegie for doing his thing, you know, putting that out, making it public to everybody. And that's the cool thing about it. But then it's a sad thing about it, too, because it's a public library. And how many people are there utilizing the public library for what the resources are there for? <laughs> I go to these libraries here locally in the different areas here around the so-called state of Washington, you know. And it's pretty funny when you see seeing everybody's lined up for the computer, the internet, you know, nobody's in the books. Don't take me wrong. You got a few people here and there, but really come when you think about it, think about it, go to a library and just look in there and see where people are really at. Even the school system, that's why you have a lot of the, the education of the school system. The kids are going to the wayside. And I know in the black community, it's huge. You know what I'm saying? And males, black males, be honest with you. It's really a huge markup. I'm not going to put no statistics on you because that ain't, it's no, really no point to the statistics because literally, what they do a good job at that. Let me rephrase myself or go back but they do a really good job they know what they know what they're doing when you talk in statistics they really get it down and dirty with that but I just wanted to educate and get kind of give people an understanding of what's really going on we really got to start taking back our country and the first thing in taking back our country is helping our children the children are the most important element and that's a key thing a most important element your children you know what I'm saying? We're just giving. Think about this ter term, and I seen it on. Um, I think it was. Um, I believe it was one of the movies I seen. Um, Zeitgeist, or one of them, or Wake Up Call, or one of those documentaries. And it was pretty interesting what he had said. One of the gentlemen on there, he said, "Think about this. You give your child away for eight hours of the day." Then you bring him home and he's, he really don't know you. I mean, about time he gets home or she gets home, you really put him, you know, make the lunch, you know, get a lunch, do some things, maybe do a little homework, a couple hours, they're back in bed again. You really haven't built no, you know, you haven't built no relationship with him. The, t the teacher is the one who's building a relationship with them. And it's funny because when you talk to children, they are afraid. They're literally fearing the teachers. You know, some cases, in some cases, they're literally fearing the teachers, what the teacher's saying or what the kids or other kids are saying about them in class and school and whatnot. And that's pretty crazy because when you when the parent is actually in that gauge, and I'm not saying to all parents, but a, a lot, it's a lot out there who don't have no control of their child when they get home. And that's literally something that they about you give your child away eight hours of the day maybe even more in some cases you know if they're involved in sports and certain elements and activities other activities like that so they really not build a relationship we we kind of the system has been taking us away 
gradually, slowly away from the unit, the family unit. When you when you look at the history, what was the most important thing? The family unit. Now the family unit is breaking up. That's why this miseducation is going so crazy. I would advise those of you to do more research on homeschool study, homeschool uh, programs. There are great ones out there. You know, you just got you know, and I I'll post some resources on my site, my Sovereign World dot neen dot com site and definitely just give people some open some opportunity that's actually out there because that's one thing you literally but you should be going you should be wanting to take the responsibility and accountability of your own child you know what I'm saying because they don't care about this public system does not care and the private sector does not care either they're teaching them these things the same curriculum they got the same curriculum verbatim pretty much it's not no different it's really no different unless you're taking control like they say take ownership of your own that's really where it comes down to and that's what I'm trying to explain today in this miseducation take ownership of your education because what they're doing they're literally giving you this education you don't need creating robots like they've been doing for the last 50 years or so you know what I'm saying come on people we gotta take back what is ours what a naturally uh, divine natural law that's us you gotta educate yourself period even if you have to take the time, and that's the key element, you have to take the time. You know what I'm saying? You have to take the time and make the time. You know what I'm saying? They didn't take America that easy, but they took it. They succeeded. They did their job. You see what I'm saying? They took it with this. They took it with the pen, but they used the sword too, or the gun, or the barrel of the gun too as well. But they did it did it in, with any means necessary and that's what we have to do with our children we literally have to get them out of this educational system and they are programs all all you gotta do is google it or bing it there's a bunch of programs out there you know that can actually give your child or you yourself too as well because we've been miseducated as adults we don't even know how to act we acting incompetent like a mug <laughs> you know what I'm saying I like using this example too like uh for example, if I'm an adult and I have a child and my child asks me if he can have a cookie and I told him, no, he can't have a cookie, but I'll, I'll eat the cookie, right? And I'll go and just eat my cookie. I'll get it because I'm an adult and I go eat the cookie when I want to eat the cookie. So basically what they're doing, they're flipping it on us. My child, <laughs> now my child is older. He go buy the, he go get the cookie and ask me, his daddy, hey, daddy, you want a cookie? Because I'm about to eat a cookie. You see what I'm saying? So this is how they flipped it. They flipped it on us, making us their chattel, making us their slaves through education. What we do, we beg them for everything, benefits, privileges, all these little issues. We we supposed to be handling our own self. We have the necessary means because it's all out here. It's available, especially with the invention of the Internet. I mean, it's definitely, you know, because this wasn't happening, what, 16, 17 years ago. This wasn't even in existence far as the internet and whatnot so just think about that you know now we have this opportunity where we can get uh, education information just by click you know mood of mouse boom 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 we got it you know put it in plug it in Google whatever being it whatever you want to go with it but it's just an understanding that we've been miseducated and we gotta re-educate ourselves now a great book to get uh, matter of fact uh, what uh, Carter G. Wood, that's it, Carter G. Wood, Miseducation of the Negro, as well as this other book I got re referred by um, Brother Mail, great, a great book, um, the, Independent, the Independent Education Handbook, and it's, it's a powerful book, and matter of fact, I got it on the, on the site as well, I got it on the site, so you can get an ebook version if you, you know, come to the site, and it's not that I'm sitting here promoting the site, because that's not the important thing. All I'm promoting, really, is a community, getting a community together, in a, a tight niche community where we're actually working together, and all positive. That's all I want to, you know, the all, all I'm giving here is positive feedback. That's what I want, positive feedback, positive energy, hum, you know, but at the same time, no negativity. I don't need it my way, because negativity, if you, you know, you look for it, you get it, you know. But that's all positive here, and that's the whole point of these these uh, 
videos for you just giving you inf insight on some things and my thoughts my thinking you know what I'm saying and what I want to share with you some of the views I'm sharing so like I said we being miseducated and I'm sure this is going to be expanded as well I'm definitely going to be on this subject a lot of times so you talk about building that library up this is where you need to build that library up right up in there you know because that's the only where they're going to kill you but I feel you much love peace blessings and, the, and all that I'm out Haru Aman peace